This video will teach you how to use the decomposition method to factor trinomials. This example asks us to factor 2x squared minus 7x plus 5. Notice first that there's a coefficient, the number 2, in front of the x squared term, and that can't be taken out as a factor of negative 7 and plus 5. So we're going to begin by identifying the a, b, and c terms of this quadratic. a equals 2, b equals negative 7, and c equals 5. Let's go ahead. For these examples, I want you to multiply a times c together because we can't withdraw a, a greatest common factor. So that's a times c equals 2 times 5, which equals 10. Now we're just like normal factoring. We're going to look at two factors of 10 that multiply to give us 10 and add to give us negative 7. And I'm going to say those are going to be negative 2 and negative 5. Negative 2 and negative 5 can be used to rewrite the negative 7x term as negative 2x subtract 5x. We can look at rewriting that term here. Negative 7x equals negative 2x and negative 5x combined, essentially. And rewriting the entire equation, 2x squared minus 2x minus 5x plus 5 identify where I rewrote that negative 7x term as the two terms we see there. Now I want you to take the greatest common factor and factor out the first two terms and I want you to take the factors of the last two terms and I'm going to show you how to do this. So to start out we're looking at the greatest common factor uh, for the first two terms is 2x and in brackets we'd have x minus 1 and the second two terms would be negative 5 times x minus 1. Now we see that both binomials are the same, the in the bracket is the same, and we have terms outside the bracket. So let's go and take what's inside the bracket, and we're going to rewrite that as a binomial. x minus 1, and we're going to write what is outside the bracket, 2x and negative 5 in the other binomial as 2x minus 5. And that will be our final answer for our binomial. Another way we could write it, and it doesn't really make any difference, we could rewrite that binomial as 2x minus 5 times x minus 1. And with everything, we always want to verify or check our solution. So if we have our equation 2x minus 5 times x minus 1, I can use FOIL or any other method to expand that binomial to 2x squared minus 2x minus 5x plus 5. Simplifying my terms gives me 2x squared minus 7x plus 5, and this is exactly the same as I had before, so we know it's correct. If you found this video useful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments below what video topics you'd like to see, and please subscribe to the How To Scholar for more how-to videos.